Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share the comparison between these two beautiful handbags from Hermes and also I will sort of compare and show you guys the difference between the Chanel classic flaps, especially the medium to large, the one that you just saw, and also the mini rectangular and the square since they look very similar and they are very popular from Chanel. And also these are two that are very popular at Hermes um, as crossbody. This one is mini and this one is 24. So what it means is that for the length, of the bag will be 24 but when I measure it it's not exactly 24 but almost and this one is measured 18 centimeter for the length so they call it mini and there is one size smaller than this one it's called micro and that's approximately 14 centimeter if I'm wrong correct me uh, and there's one more size that is longer and more narrow than this one that is called Elan or Elan, E-L-A-N. So these two are kind of in the middle uh, out of four that, that are available at the moment. So they have this continued size 23, which is smaller than this one and 25, that's bigger than this one and 29, the biggest have been discontinued from Hermes. So now they have only four different sizes available. This one is a Chanel classic medium to large. As you can see, this one is longer. And on the side, for sure this one fits less. On the bottom, I don't have the size jumbo for the classic flap, so I cannot show you guys right now, but from my experience of putting things inside, this one will fit similar amount as the jumbo. And this one is rectangular classic mini flap. So next to each other, it looks like so. Pretty similar. And this one fits more than this for some reason. I don't know why, but this one does expand more, even though it looks like this one will fit more, right? So yeah, on the back, obviously there's one pocket. This one doesn't. And I thought square mini will look very, very similar as they're both square shape. So they look very cute and sweet uh, if you're interested in knowing more about chanel classic flaps i have many videos related to all three that i showed you guys earlier yeah check down below in the description box i will have links to those videos down below for you guys it's really really pretty on this length this is classic, medium to large, length like so. And this is the constants. This one sits lower, just tiny bit. You can pull this and instantly it becomes shoulder bag. So I do carry this bag this way uh, time to time, but my favorite way to carry is crossbody just because it just secures and it doesn't go anywhere if I have this bag with the shoulder strap just single shoulder strap option it tends to kind of slide down like so with anything I mean it doesn't really matter what kind of shirt that I'm wearing this one sits lower this one sits higher so single shoulder strap looks like so and this also you can pull like this and wear it it's really cute 
and this one is a lot more comfortable as it's more flat than this one this one is pretty bulky and kind of boxy and I do wear this bag like this when I want it a lot more dressy and if I'm wearing it with a dress and it's really cute to wear it like this also this is how it looks on me crossbody so classic flat mini is longer to wear as single shoulder strap so if you're taller than me um, this one was say of course higher this is how the square mini looks like Constance mini is tiny bit longer for the length of Constance 24 is 9 inches in length and the height will be 7.5 and, and the width is 3 inches so for the shoulder strap it's 18 inches with this is 10 inches for the mini 7 inches 7.5 and almost in length and the height will be 6 inches when you put things inside it does expand so when you have it expanded it's 2 inches a little bit more than 20 for this way it's 11 inches If you wonder why I have the sticker still <laughs> attached to the hardware, I learned a lesson with having the Hermes belt kit. So there's the same hardware, uh, doesn't matter silver or gold, I find them like, I wouldn't say easily get scratches, but they do get scratches and I don't really like that so I still have the stickers on I am going to find the sticker that will protect the hardware like perfectly not like this that will peel off but I'm looking for one to open you just have to push from the bottom to up and pull then it opens up like so the front section has a little slip pocket right in the front part and there is nothing on here and right this part is also epsom leather but here are the same soft leather as this part on the back is all soft leather everywhere there you go you can see better on the back side there is one pocket with the zipper and there's a zipper pull and when you open that up inside the leather is also same as the soft lining it looks or feels like chanel lambskin and front section here says hermes paris made in france this one doesn't have a zipper like the other one had so here is the flat compartment on the back there is one compartment I absolutely love this Epsom leather that keeps the shape just like same as the day I got it. Beautiful. And compared to this one, this is evergreen leather. It's softer and smoother and you can feel the leather like filling if you know what I'm saying. But this one is almost like... Um, it kind of reminds me of Prada Safiano leather. It's very strong and structured and robust. Like you feel like this one is not gonna get a lot of wear. But this is a different story. It's not swept leather, which will get scratches pretty easily. Um, and almost similar to the Chanel lambskin but this one if you see it closer to it it's got grains yeah. but at the same time it's soft so i do really like the feel of it and the look of it also uh, it doesn't keep the shape as well as the epsom leather that's right here here is size 24 
and see I know you will ask me if this will fit in here Ooh, it got in there and that's agenda size mm it fits in with no problem oh wow the front the front part is slimmer but it still fits that's very interesting <laughs> So agenda size MM fits, that's got the ring. And I have my toiletry size 19, which is medium size. I don't really think this will fit in here. Whoa, it does fit. <laughs> I didn't even try because I don't really think I have to have that inside of this handbag, but it does fit. That is a surprise, surprise surprise but if you like to organize your bag and have your toiletry 19 inside totally it works oh my goodness and uh i have the organizer inside by the way if you're wondering i got it from suni bag and bag i'll have the link to it down below and there is the promo code i have for you guys 10 percent off that's with my name karis so all these let's see so i put hairpin brush mirror two lipsticks and uh another lipstick by the way this is new i recently got and i am wearing right now it's from mac and the name is ruby woo i'll have a link to the same one down below loving it so much and this is the lipstick uh lip pencil sorry guys that matches these two, these were the set I got from Nordstrom. Put that note on the back and have the Kiragami that's got things in it. And I will put my wallet, that's a Zoe on front leather. I don't have anything inside at the moment, but it's great to carry your business cards or extra cards, or you could actually use it as a wallet. I'll put it there and I'll have the gummy for my kids and my car key. This is Chanel hand lotion. I love and I got it a while back, but I lost it. My son, I really think he did, but he really loves this and he calls it an egg. <laughs> Looks like an egg and you just squeeze and it comes out. It's just beautiful. Love the feel and Oh my goodness, love the scent. When you put it on, it's really moisturizing and very, very, very soft. When the lotion gets into your skin, later on, it feels like velvet. That's how I feel like. And the smell to it, oh, so luxurious, rose scent. So glad I found it. <laughs> so put that in there, the egg goes in, and I have lipstick or lip gloss. I'll have a hand sanitizer, lip pencil. My phone, currently I have this little thingy so I can use small handbags. Uh, but some of you asked me if I can put real, like the case. Well, I think I can put it this way at least. So still I can <laughs> put it here so you guys can know if that works. Put this on the back. On top, that's how much you have. If you don't use the Kiragami, I am 100% positive this one will go in with without any problem. But now I have that in. Let's see. So it does close and bulky but it looks same as how it was before, right? And this one is so much thinner, right? And it's really small and super compact. And this, I find it fits more than my Chanel Classic Mini Flaps, both of them rectangular and square. There is my phone going in, <laughs> you saw it, that's got the uh, sticker thingy right there and also the cover, the case in it. That I'm gonna leave, I don't think it's gonna fit. Okay, Kiragami will fit, the medium size fits perfectly actually. But because Kiragami is right now, it's a bit bulky. So I'm gonna have the Zoe wallet and 
the hand lotion and the brush, the mirror, lipsticks. We'll have one, two lipsticks there. My keep up goes in and the gummy, pretty important. I think I can have this one little thing and lip pencil goes in and that and this. Okay, all fit in here. Let's see. It does fit everything that you saw now, but on the side looks like pretty bulky and I never put this much, you know, uh, things in here, but that was just good to know. I think I haven't even talked about how much I love these. Um, I would say these are really well made. Uh, really high level yes the stitching each one that i see is perfect and very i'll say organically neutrally made but perfect if that makes sense and it's just really really sleek and chic and edgy and also very elegant and very simple very classy uh timeless piece still and yeah, love, beautiful, beautiful, beautifully designed. I really like Epsom leather and it's just really structured and love rose gold. It's just special and I love that contrast. Uh, black with rose gold, very, very classy, very soft and feminine yet chic. I mean, it's got everything that I always like. So I love this one, but for the size, it just reminds me of Chanel classic jumbo uh, because it is somewhat bulky and it does stick up when you wear crossbody like I am wearing right now, but actually it's a lot better than jumbo in my opinion because it's not as heavy as jumbo. I mean, this really is lightweight compared to jumbo and also it's not as long like rectangular so this is more like square so it's not as like you know sticking out this way so crossbody is still okay not too big not too small just this so. one whenever i wear it i do get more compliments and it looks just really cute little like essential set i always carry in my small size handbag it fits everything and it's got a little more room and it's really comfortable sitting on right here uh, crossbody it's not bulky or sticking up or like i don't know it's just perfect size for a crossbody and shoulder strap doesn't dig in even though it's pretty thin and to compare to 24 this one is slimmer i don't know if you can see but this one is thicker but when i have uh, items filled into this handbag i feel this one is a little bit weighty on my shoulder so when i wear this bag i do switch to different you know way to wear one thing that's interesting for this handbag is that the shoulder strap moves like 360 degree <laughs> it moves all the way around one negative thing that i can say maybe two things uh one is when i go to restaurant i talked about this to my friend mel from mel in melbourne hello if you're watching um yeah she was asking me about which one do i like better when i go to the restaurant i don't actually really know what to do with this handbag especially the shoulder strap if i have like this and i you know put it on the table um looks a little bit kind of like too much like sticking up like this and then i try to like put it down and i'm like hmm i go like this and go like that and i'm like still like wondering what to do with this you know especially epsom leather as is stiff so it's kind of 
like in the way like then I will go like this and then it's got a lot of space like eating up on the table right like especially going to restaurant so then I'll put it up like next to me like this or on the back of me like this and I'm like anyways it's a little bit awkward situation whenever I bring this handbag and then and I will end up putting on my lap like this and then the shoulder strap will like kind of stick up like there and I always have to kind of like watch if it fell down or it's like another baby I may say then my daughter or my son will want to be with me and eat like you know like on my lap so I have to just go like this I'm thinking like what am I gonna do <laughs> with this bag and then uh, of course I don't want to put it on the floor right so at the end what I do is that I will wear the bag and just crossbody and I will eat like this and I will have my kids up here still but whatever I have inside this handbag I will still have the you know weight to the bag so it will be kind of digging in so it's not as comfortable I'll say or the best situation if you are thinking of that scenario for this handbag the second negative side of this handbag the shoulder strap is attached to the top of the flap right right here like if so i am comparing to chanel classic flap the shoulder strap is attached to the actual handbag the body of it not the top or the flap like this one so it's still okay and it's still flap is still closed you don't have much time to like do like this step you still feel it's okay it's not gonna go anywhere flip open this is just a whole different story like because the shoulder strap is on top of it whatever you have inside here is hanging down there think about like how much of the weight is going downward to the actual bag so this part is gonna be keep like pulling, you know, uh, depending on how much items that you have inside of the bag. If you're asking me which one, like one that I would go with out of Constance 24 and the mini and Chanel classic flat medium to large or mini rectangular or square mini I will go with for sure Chanel classic I'll go for that <laughs> I don't know which one though uh, maybe mini so I'll go with rectangular classic flap I don't really talk about the price on my channel just because how much I got hate in the beginning I don't know how long ago but I just remember that was just really bad experience that I just don't like to get a lot of hating like comments or whatever it is but I know it's gonna be really helpful I would say uh, it really depends on the leather and the hardware and enamels like different color tones like there's so like all different things you guys know what I'm talking about right but typically it comes with the mini size it's less than 8k uh, this one comes with around 10k so. honestly I haven't had these two for that long so yeah I couldn't give you like in-depth like reviews from using for many years but I hope I got to help you to make better decision um, yes if you enjoyed watching please give this video a thumbs up and I would love you guys to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I shall see you guys in my next video and if you have more questions or I haven't answered your question about this handbags or anything let me know in the comment section down below I will try to get back to you as soon as possible bye guys and my boy just woke up <laughs> always good timing right I'm gonna go get him bye guys